Hey, Jody here from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. We are continuing a series on metals and how to weld them and talking about nickel alloys. And uh, in the last video, I mentioned that nickel alloys, one of the main uses was for filler metal on jobs that weren't necessarily made out of nickel, but uh, where nickel alloys were used. A little sidebar here. In 2010, I made a whole potload of videos uh, one every single week and maybe one or two more. So it made over 50 videos. And a lot of people ask me if I'd put them on a DVD because they have a hard time watching YouTube on their slow connections or some people even have to still have dial-up connections. So I did put them all. I took two uh, dual layer DVDs, part one and part two, over 50 videos. And uh, if you click on the link below this YouTube video, you can learn more about that. All right, today's repair job where we're going to use this nickel filler metal is uh, thread repair. We're going to weld this stainless uh, machine thread sleeve uh, that's press, uh, press fit on this uh, spindle. Threads were boogered up. It's kind of a rush job. The guy, the machinist had a fit uh, getting the right metric threads cut so he didn't want to didn't want to muck around with the actual spindle. He just, it was easier just to, to uh, chuck a piece of uh, free machining stainless up in the lathe and, and get it right that way and then machine out the middle and press it on. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, I don't know what the metal is made out of. I suspect it would be about a 1045 uh, carbon steel for this uh, spline spindle. Sometimes when you're doing jobs like this, there is no way to find out really uh, the material you're welding. You kind of have to rely on uh, who you're doing it for to just kind of give you a hint. So uh, what, I'm, what I'm doing today is I'm using Hastelloy W filler metal. It's very expensive. And probably 312 stainless or 309 stainless filler would have done just as well, but didn't want to take any chances. I got a deal on some Hastelloid W about 20 years ago, and I'm still working my way through it. So I happen to have some laying around, and I don't want to take any chance. I know it will work because I've used it on so many different combinations of uh, carbon steel to stainless steel, etc. So the first thing I want to do here is get a tack right where this keyway slot is. That keyway is going to be cut out of there uh, when this is all done. So I've got to get a good weld all the way around it, and then I've got to get a little bit of weld on the other side too, because even though this is a press fit, when that slot's cut, it's not going to have near as much, uh, it's not going to be near as tight. So I've got to get it welded. Tacked it on the keyway slot. I want to have something to weld to and to weld from. So I've add, always had a few little extra drops of filler metal when I'm doing that on the end of something. And that'll give me something to weld up to on the keyway slot where I won't roll metal over into it and have to then grind it out later. Because I kind of want to do this in a one take, one shot. I want to I weld it. I don't want to even have to put a file on it. So that's why I'm, I'm watching really closely on that thread. I'm not trying not to roll it over at all so that the nut will go on there just fine without having to do anything. So I'm taking it in short runs mainly because I'm filming it. And uh, you could just start on one end and keep going, spin the thing and just keep going. Um, also, I'm using 30 pulses a second today with 50% background current and 50% uh, on time of the pulse, also called pulse width. And that's helping me uh, watch that and keep from rolling that thread over. It helps confine uh, the, the arc, focuses the arc. It helps heat from building up. And so if you just watch that bottom of the puddle there where the thread is, you'll see it's just it's just going over to there. And of course, when it, when it wants to go over a little further, I get over on the heavy side a little bit. I direct the heat to the heavier uh, carbon steel part. But still, the pulsing is really helping. Uh, it's helping keep that edge of the puddle right where I want it. And, and no further. If you weren't careful, you could melt that thread way over and then have to take a file and spend 30 minutes dressing that thing up. And that's not what I'm after. I'm after a one one shot deal and spank it on the butt and uh, go home. So now I've got to get a little weld on the other side. It's a little tighter to get. I'm not going to be able to get a shot at it with the uh, for the an arc shot, but. I'm going to be able. I'm going to weld up to the keyway slot here, and then some more here and there, to uh, make sure nothing goes wrong. Make sure it doesn't relieve when the uh, when the keyway slot's cut. Again, still pulsing, 
and it's really important on this side because it's harder to get to. See that puddle, the weld goes right up to that first thread and, and uh, we're good there. All right, a little summary here. We started off this way, tacked it, and then uh, welded the, the end that's got the chamfer there, and then turned it over, made a little, added some stitch welds on the uh, other side here, trying to just take it up to the thread and then cut the keyway slot out. Another job I got recently, the same kind of concept was a little gear here. They didn't want to cut the gear teeth because that would have taken a long time. And so the, gears, the gear teeth were fine, but the inside of the shaft was all galled up, so uh, or bushing that is. So they just drilled that out, reamed it out, and uh, chamfered it, and pressed another piece in there and welded it back up. So that's the kind of the same thing, just another angle, another way of getting something done. And uh, actually, you can see some low places here, and the machinist wanted it to clean up perfectly, so I added a second pass right here. And uh, when that one's put on a lathe and skinned down, you couldn't even tell it. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching WeldingTipsAndTricks.com.